Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Clawback 22, the Rangers podcast. Uh, this is our tribute to um, Walter Smith. I'm your host Scott Carney and I'm with Ali Pearson. Ali, how are you? I've had better days to be honest. Um, I, th- I think it's important we, we, we give a, a tribute to Walter because he's, um, he's, a, he's a, as a father figure to, to, to me. I know he's a father figure to you and the rest of the Rangers support and it's... Um, yeah, it's, it's it's a sad, sad day, and my condolences go out to, to Ethel and the, the rest of his family, his, his, his children, his grandchildren as well. So, yeah, it's, it's a sad day for the Rangers family. Yeah, as me, um, I will try and get through this podcast the best I can without um, bubbling too much. Um, I was about saying just before we started, mate, the two people to come on and do this are the two the biggest worst. soft touches on this podcast, really are. But yeah, I thought I just felt that it was important um, to come on and just just discuss what we um, pay tribute to the guy. The guy was, I mean, an inspiration to us growing up. He was always will be the manager, no matter kind of what happens, no matter what manager comes and goes. And yeah, it was a a real shock today. Oh, <coughs> excuse me, but um, this isn't about us. Um, it's not about likes, it's not about shares, it's not about anything else like that, mate. I just felt like it was important. There could be, I mean, I'm not naive enough to think that there's people that only listen to purely this podcast alone, mate, but there might be somebody waiting to um, to hear from us. So I just felt like it was quite important for us to come on and let them know that they're not alone. Um, it's, a, it's a dark day. Yeah, it's, I mean, I mean we knew Walter was... Um, wasn't too well the last, the last the last six months there, but his his, fa- his family wanted to keep it private, and and everyone has has respected that. And it's 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 a shock to us today because we we just we 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 didn't expect it today. I thought I mean I mean I I was with our our a, a meeting this morning, and literally came back in my car and just had my phone in my hand, and it and it flashed up in Sky Sports, and I was. I was devastated, de- like completely devastated. He's a, uh, I don't know what else I can say about Walter Smith. He, to me, he epitomises everything about Rangers. He's dignified. He's he's class. He just if I if I had to if I had to describe someone to um, represent Glasgow Rangers, it's Walter Smith. Everything about that man. He, he's respected everywhere. I mean, you see it today in the, in the social medias. Other side of the city as well. They respect him as a man as well. Every everyone in the football world respects him. He's uh, he's huge. The, uh, me growing up as a as a young lad, which what he gave me, he gave me nine in a row. He's he's taken me to ninety two and ninety three when we were a game away in the European Cup final. He's he's taken us. He's taken us to Manchester. I've some I've had some great times with him. And the same as you, he's always he's always he's always the gaffer to me. He's it's Walter Smith blowing my army to me. It's all and it always will be. And I, I'm <laughs> devastated. I'm the same as you. I'm, I'm trying to keep it together. I'm I'm not the best at things like this, but um, I'll, I will try my best. <laughs> you're, doing, you're doing better than me. Um, <laughs> I can feel that eyes you know. Yeah, you're definitely doing better than me. Um, yeah, I mean, I, there's not much more I can add to it, mate. What you said about Walter, he was <clears throat> just the manager. Um, a true gentleman, um, the guy that's, oh, excuse me, the guy that laid the the foundations for how to act as a Rangers a Rangers supporter. And the club will is the club will the club will struggle to go over the loss of him. Um, he brought me arguably some of the best days of my life. Even a <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> even a run to Manchester and stuff like that. He done. Um, it's just everything to us. God, I told you you were doing, <laughs> doing better than me, mate. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously we've seen the different videos and stuff that have come out. Gerard's one was pretty um, pretty touching. I've not managed to make it through the whole Alan McCoy's one yet. Um, but Alan McCoy did touch on it. The, um, they were aware, I think, that Walter was unwell. Um 
Obviously, we've seen rumours and stuff, mate, about him not being very well. we obviously seen the picture as well when he was at the, the charity golf day and he wasn't looking in the, the best of health, but I think it was just the, the shock. And we totally, I totally respect the, the family's right to their privacy on this. Um, they, they, they deserve to, to have their privacy. And I think it was... <clears throat> we probably didn't want to believe that he was unwell, mate, and we wanted to think, because look at us, look at us trying to talk about this man. He's... He's always a guy who thinks <clears throat> it indestructible, if you want to say it. And it's, um, yeah, I mean, I, I listened to the Alan McCoy's interview in Talksport today. It was eight minutes and oh, it was hard. But listening to McCoy today, like, like you said, that he, you know, he only spoke to Walter on Saturday there and he was going to meet him on Sunday and apparently he, he wasn't too well. But yeah. I, he kind of said, McCoy, that they'd kind of, they knew this day was coming, unfortunately, and it's a it's a shock to all us and the rest of the, of the Rangers family because obviously we weren't and obviously he's best one of the best friends with Walter and the rest of the guy can imagine Ian Gerrand and the rest of them all that that nine in a row team I would say is very very tight and is still tight to this day, so it's it's a big shock to all us Rangers supporters out there who just never expected it. Like something like this today, it was it's a, it's, a, it's a major shock, and yeah, it's it's a sad one. I I honestly don't think I'll ever. If I know I won't, I, I will never see a Rangers manager like him um, in my lifetime. Not, no. not at all. And he, the, the way the way he's come back, like a mentor figure. I mean, he's not been away for Rangers. He coming. I mean, he's been in the training ground. You could see that with Gerard today. How he, he yeah. comes in. He's he's given Gerard advice, and everyone respects him. I mean, he just he's just got that aura about him, and I mean, he'll probably come on. I mean, I've I've been lucky enough to meet Waller as well, but um, yes, yeah, it's, it's it's just a sad day. I, I really I really do feel for his family. I really do because they're they're a really. I know they live down in Helms, but I, I'm down at Neck the Woods, I'm from there, Scott lives down there as well and they're a respected family down in Helens where they really are and all of them are um, yeah, it's, it's, it's tough, it's tough. But it's tough mate, it is and that's our biggest condolences go to his family I know you've already said that mate, I couldn't manage to quite get it out at the start of the pod but of course all our thoughts are with his family and he's he's, he's his children, he's the rest of his close family and his, his dear friends. Um, it's a it's a tough one today. Um, a true icon, a true legend of a football club, a guy that represents everything that has to be a Rangers fan. And yeah, we just need to stay strong. But if we're in the respect that will get shown throughout the coming weeks is going to be pretty spectacular. Can we try to get me record our podcast, mate. No, I can just cry. Um, <clears throat> it's um, it's a tough day, it really is, and uh, it might seem daft to some people that a guy that I didn't know personally, but he's had this effect on my life. So, <sighs> real, real tough one. Um, Ibrox will be tough tomorrow night. There's no doubt about it. But we'll be with the the Rangers family. We'll be with. We'll be all together. Um, I'm sure the scenes at Ibrox are going to be brilliant. I mean, the, the, the tributes are going to be gigantic. I'm, I'm, I've not passed. Did you pass Ibrox today at any point, Ali? Did you see it? I, I passed Ibrox pretty much just after. I would say I passed Ibrox about half 11 today. Um, and there was people laying flowers and stuff. I did, I did yeah. see in the news tonight, it was quite a lot of people laying flowers. And it's a bit similar to when... Um, Fernando obviously passed away, and there was all the flowers everywhere. Out to me, Walter Smith is. Uh, I've. I mean, when Fernando passed away, although a few years ago, we always said that the the one guy we didn't want to lose was Walter, yeah. because he's what he means to us, and I know what you mean in terms of. It's probably hard to quite explain to to somebody that isn't into football in terms of they might say, well, what. It's a guy that obviously, is, in terms of, he's not part of your family, but not, but he is. The Rangers are a family all together, and yeah, it's a difficult one. I, tomorrow night, oh, oh, Christ, tomorrow night's going to be a hard one. It's going to be a real hard one for 
uh, whether the minute science, whatever it is, because it's going to be 50,000 bears. And the only good thing I can say is we'll, we'll all be together. And then yeah. we don't need galvanised anything, but we'll all be together as one. And um, yeah, it's. Um, I, I just hope, and I, I know there'll be a fitting tribute to Walter in yeah. terms of. You, you, you've, got in, oh, you've got the stand, you can name it. I personally put a statue at the front of iBooks for him. He's. Yeah. He's an iconic figure. He's, I mean, Bill Struth's obviously up there, but for me, it's it's always Walter. He's 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 the main man, and he, and he always will be in my eyes. He's, he's always he's always the gaffer to me. And you, you see a lot of the players; they refer to him as the gaffer all the time. Yeah, and, um, and they, they always will. And it's it just just shows what the man's all about, really. Yeah, hundred percent, mate. Um, I do. I do kind of apologise for me being so emotional about this. Um, I, I can't help it. Um, this is, and I'll I'll put cards on the table. This is the second time we've recorded this because the first time I I couldn't do it. Um, I really couldn't. So obviously I was at work and stuff today as well. So this has been kind of pent up all day. Um, and it's I kind of the first time I've sat down and had a full conversation about it. I seen you earlier on in work out and we avoided each other like yeah. no. I don't know what you didn't really want to talk about it, especially not in work. And yeah, some people may not understand, but he is he's it's the Rangers family. That's what we always talk about. It's what we are what we are all about. And what I was very much a massive part of that. And uh, he will be sorely missed. He really will be absolutely sorely missed. Obviously we'd intended to do a podcast tonight. We would have brought you a club dead corner tonight, but that's just not right. And a day like this this was Arguably the darkest day of my lifetime in terms of being a Rangers fan. So um, it's really sad, um, really, really sad. And we just have to pass on our best again to his, his, his family. Um, and, and that's just a tough time. 73 is not really an age, um, to be honest. I know obviously it's not not exactly young, but it's not old either. Um, he's, he's about the same age as, as my old man. Um, he'll probably clip me around the ear for, for saying that, to be honest, but he's around the same age as my dad, so it's no, it's no age. Um, Ali, anything more to add, mate? I, 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 I don't know what more you can say about the man. I, I, I think... Um... I think people around the world will see what he means to our football club tomorrow night when, when we're all at Ibrox tomorrow and we, we play Aberdeen. And yeah, I, I, I can imagine Walter Smith's Blue My Army will be, will be sung loud and proud because it always will be. And I, it'll, be, it'll be extremely difficult tomorrow night. I'm trying to hold it together here, but tomorrow night I, oof, I very much doubt it during a minute's silence. But like you say, I was. Um, I think I've mentioned the podcast before. I was, well, I got to meet Walter at a, a sort of intimate night in Helensbro. And everything I've said tonight just sums up what the guy is. He stayed for an extra couple of hours. He lived in Helensbro, but he stayed for an extra couple of hours after the after he did his kind of his after dinner speech with us all. And I actually stood at the bar and talked to us just like a normal guy. And you've always got that. Impression of Walter Smith if he gives you the stare or whatever, or and um, I think we we had a bit of a joke with Walter because at, at, at that point we'd actually a lot of guys, a lot of folk in this podcast probably don't know, but me and Scotia and a few of the lads uh, beat the eggheads years ago, and um, I said to Walter, I went, Walter, do you watch do you watch the eggheads? And he went, is that that quiz show in BBC? And I went, yes. Yeah. Do you know we beat them? <laughs> and one of the guys came up to him and I can't believe you just told Wallace Smith you beat the head <laughs> and he, he was laughing and um, a few weeks later obviously my, my pal Matt um, taught Walter golf he, in McDowell as well and Walter Smith asked my pal Matt he went how's your egghead pal so, <laughs> which was quite good he, he remembered this and, yeah, and I spoke to him at the bar and honestly couldn't get a nicer guy down to earth, wanted to talk to you. It wasn't that way as a flight just to humour you and get you away. He was delighted to talk to you, and that's how I'll remember him. And yeah, I'll, I'll always remember Walter Smith. He, he is a father figure to us in terms of the football sense, and yeah, it's a major loss. And but, but um, yeah, and like I say, my condolences, I just said, we're going to go out to, to Ethel and the rest of his family. and Tomorrow night we will we will be one tomorrow night and um tomorrow night is is for Walter. For Walter, um hundred percent. 
I can't add anything more to that, mate. And um, thank you for coming on and doing this with me, Ali. I could not have done this myself, mate. Um, I, I really appreciate you. Um, you're my right hand man for a reason, mate. <laughs> it's hard to be honest. I was, yeah, um, it's difficult. Yeah, yeah. To be, I'm not the best at things, to be honest. In terms, of, I'm quite so much you in terms of probably cry a lot of stuff, to be honest. But this is a difficult one today because it, it was it was a, a day I've. I've, I've dreaded to be honest in terms of losing losing Mr. Rangers and uh, one of our own, um, Walter Smith. But um, yeah, I, I just hope Rangers go and give a performance <laughs> to our night for them. So yeah. Oh, right. Cheers, mate. Um, yeah, everybody, we just have to stay strong now um, and uh, just pass condolences again on his family. Um, oh. Rest easy, Saul Walter. Thanks, everyone.